Hello, how are you today? This is Edith Neumeyer and again I am going to introduce my book at least in a couple sentences the mystery of Adam. It is not a novel. It is a Bible study about Genesis and the creation of humankind and how this whole, you know, creation, um, whatever happened in the garden, how it affected the relationship of humankind and historically how it affected things with the role of men and women in the church and in uh, marriage. So, but today I'm going to talk about more people about this movie that I talked about in my last video. Okay. But I used it for uh, mass formation psychosis, how people actually react because they're under mass psychosis. But today I want to go specifically into really what this movie is really showing. It's not really about really Corona either. Okay. It's not about this boogeyman that I talked about in my last movie or my last uh, video. But people, it is really about a catastrophic event coming. Okay? And there's a word that I used in one of my videos that I had to actually move, move the video to be chewed because uh, YouTube didn't like it. Okay? Has to do with climate something, right? Because this whole thing is exactly about that. The elite are calling it climate something. And, but in reality, this movie showed exactly, not exactly, but in, in, in a way, what's going to happen. It showed exactly that a catastrophic event is happening. But the people don't want to hear it. The government is hiding it. And the government is making money of it, or from it, and the elite are trying, well, the elite are trying to make the money, and the government is hiding it because they're trying to um, save their own life. Now, I have been talking about this for so long. It's called the wrath of God, people. You know, I have a, my channel is about, end times prophecy. Okay. And I've talked about this all oh, forever, trying to open people's eyes to what's coming. But how do people act just like in this movie? Okay. Finally here, Satan is, and I think it's Satan because Satan has to show his plan. Really. He can't just constantly hide it, which he, he tries to do, but here he had to come out and say, look, people, this is what's going to happen. And people are just, oh, no, we don't want to hear about it. We want to go about our just regular life. We want to have fun and whatever. Okay? But Satan is telling you, people, this is coming. Now, if I don't know if it's, you know, a, 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 a comet that's going to hit our earth. I don't believe so. Because really, in reality, you know that God may bring the wrath of God, but he is not going to destroy the whole earth. He's not going to do that. But it's close to, you know, destruction. But it's not all gone. There's going to be people left over. So I'm going to look at that today because Wow, I can't believe the elite, okay? You remember, I believe in this well-belief. I know that there is this pyramid of power, okay? Talk about my videos all the time. And in this pyramid of power, the way on top is Lucifer or Satan. And he has a plan because he knows 
his time is coming to an end. He knows God's wrath is coming, but his goal is to destroy humankind before the end, okay, and deceive them as much as possible, deceive them and really destroy humankind so they cannot enter God's kingdom. That's what his goal is. And he knows the wrath of God is coming. The elite know the wrath of God is coming because they're seeing the signs that they have been hidden, hiding for don't know how long. Long time. Believe me, a long time. Now, let's go to Revelation 6 again. I'm going to read it today because I want to show you clearly how the elite know what's coming and what they're already doing. The elite know that the signs are there. The governments know, people. But they're hiding it from the regular people. And even if the regular people would know about it, they would be oblivious, just like in that film. And on top of it, the scientists that discover what's coming, they either shut up, killed, or whatever. They will never ever tell the masses who are already in a psychosis what's really coming. They're in a mass psychosis right now, in a blissful world, whoever, you know, they made up their own reality. Ba, 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 ba. That's how they're thinking. But all along, the catastrophic event is coming. It's not going to be, like I said, a maybe one huge comet that's going to destroy the whole earth. There's several things coming. You want to know? Well, read the seven trumpets of Revelation 8 through 11 or Revelation 16. We're going to look at some of them today. I'm going to look at the, um, the bowls today. Chapter 16. But let's look at Revelation um, 6 today. Now, the seals, that's what this is talking about, are almost finished. The last seal is the seventh seal, and the last seal is all wrath of God. Here we're going to look at the sixth seal, which is, I believe, now opened. Okay, I think the sixth seal is already open. It is an introduction into the wrath. It is showing the people on this earth the wrath of God is coming. They're seeing the signs. Birth pangs. Some people say the birth pangs. Of the wrath of God. Not tribulation. Wrath of God, people. Forget about tribulation. That's what we're going through right now. Okay? Wrath of God is coming. Catastrophic events are coming. And here in the sixth seal, um, and I better change it to an English version. I don't know why I still have a German version. And I don't want King James because I don't like to read King James. So... Anyway, so we see it that um, in, in uh, the sixth seal, let's see, that the wrath of God is coming. But it's not been, it's not there yet. The wrath then will, describe, will be described in the seventh seal. Here, this is a preparation because we're seeing all the kings of the earth, they see what's coming and they're preparing. So 12 says, and I watched as he opened the sixth seal, there was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of great hair, goat hair, and the whole moon turned blood red. And the stars in the sky fell to earth as a thick drops from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. The heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up and every mountain and island was removed from its place. This is an introduction 
to the wrath of God. That's what they used in the Old Testament, the Old Testament prophets, to show this is wrath of God. So here is the introduction to the wrath of God. Then in 15, then the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and everyone else, both slaves and free, hid in caves and among rocks at the mountains. If they hid in caves, they already prepared them, which they have already done. They called to the mountains and the rocks, fallen us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who can withstand it? They know it's coming. They have prepared years. Okay? I made a move, I mean, a, a video not long ago showing exactly this suspicious observer has shown a map of what's going on under the United States. Bunkers and tunnels. It's there. So here is the introduction. Then the seventh seal is describing the wrath of God. Chapter 8 through 11. That's where we are right now, people. Okay? They are preparing. They know it's coming. They've known for years it's coming, people. They have hide it. They are telling you stuff they don't want anybody, you know, people to know, like climate, whatever. That's what they're telling you. Okay? And I'm not going to say it because I want to keep my video on there. Yeah, telling you for years, what they've known for years. And now they're showing you a movie that the elite made. Now, I sometimes watch this guy that uh, has knowledge about Gematria. And don't tell me, oh, this is just, no. I'm, I'm not interested really in Gematria. I'm interested in the information the guy has. And he looked at this movie and the lead are using Gematria and are leaving this Gematria is their signature and they left their signature on it on that movie telling you hello we're giving you a hint okay giving you a hint remember I talk a lot about this pyramid of power and who is below Satan, who is the all-seeing eye, the Jesuits, the, the Freemasons, and all these other people, Schwab, and all the money people, right? We see in this movie, um, um, what's his name? Elon Musk, right? Might as well just say his name. All these money people that are part of the elite that know exactly what's coming. But no, they are hiding everything from us, including, of course, the governments of the world. They're hiding it. They don't want you to know. And here, though, <laughs> Satan showed it to you. I guess the elite got the permission to show it to you right in straight in your face. But how do we take it? Like, oh, it's not real. It's just a movie. And these people are so stupid uh, because the way they reacted. Well, that's how we react. How this world reacts. Mass psychosis. Eyes closed. We want to have fun. Okay? It's exactly the way it is. Now, except the end was is going to be different. The world is not going to be totally destroyed. No. Because Jesus will will create his own, well, not create, but Jesus will rebuild this world with a small amount of people because most of people will be destroyed. And remember what I read in my last um, video, Second Thessalonians? Why are the people so blinded? Remember that? What I read in 2 Thessalonians 2? Where was it? 11 or 9? The coming of the, law, the, the lawless one will be in accordance with 
how Satan works. He will use all sorts of display of power through signs, wonders that serve the lie in all the way that wickedness deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lies. And so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth, but have delighted in wickedness. This is what's coming, people. And all these people that were acting like they were on drugs, they will be deceived. God will send them a strong delusion that they will not even see what is in plain sight. And Satan is allowed to do it. Because people are so deceived, they don't want to see what is in front of their plain sight. No, they don't want to. They want to continue to believe their own narrative. Whatever that narrative is. What? That both or one side is better than the other. That the Republican side is better than the other. That we still have a chance uh, uh, to really save this world. That we human beings still can be better than God. Remember my last, vid my last video. Yeah, we can be much better than God. We can do such a better job. No, we don't need Jesus. And what does the Bible say about the wrath that is coming? Yeah, it's coming. They tell, you know what Satan told you exactly in that movie and what happened. They are shutting up the scientists. They are even killing the scientists so you don't know what's really coming. They have been doing that for years. The media, they already have the media on their side and they're just telling you exactly what you want to hear. Well, what they want you to hear. It's all in place, people. It's all in place. Look at, look at the media, how they acted in that movie. Don't look up. No, don't look up. Don't even look up and don't even see what's going on. That movie is clear in your face and you don't want to see it. Oh, yeah, it's a satire. Oh, yeah, it's kind of humorous at times. But you don't want to see it. Oh, it's just a movie. No, we're not going to see that. I know it's just a movie. It's not gonna. It's not real. It's not gonna be, uh, you know, a, a meteor coming and destroying the earth. No, I don't know what it is. But hey, it's right in your face. Watch Suspicious Observer. It's right in your face. Something is happening. Something is preparing. The sun is going wacko. Our magnetic field is out of balance. Something is coming. Just like in this movie, and oh no, we don't want to hear it. Our media is totally playing it down. They'd rather talk about the affairs of these movie stars. No one more is like, oh yeah, I got a comet or something, you know, on my shoulder, tattoo on my shoulder. Uh, but of course, the movie is not telling you exactly what's going to happen at the end. That Jesus will be coming. And establishing his kingdom. Praise God. At least that one. You know was wrong. That's why it makes it even more like unrealistic. Because of the end. And then the. You know the. The, the president is being eaten by this bird. On another planet. Oh my goodness. And all these naked people at the end. Oh. Looks like a nudist colony. But hey, it's right in your face. It's telling you it's coming. Wake up. I've been telling you that. I don't know for how long. And people's eyes are closed. Do you know what happens? And, and we can go there in a Revelation. Let's go there. Revelation. Let's go to Revelation 16. And see how people react even after going through the wrath of God. What are they doing? All right. Now we see that in, um, in chapter 16, we see the whole wrath of God in these seven bowls. 
And these seven bowls overlap with the seven trumpets exactly. Okay? So you can compare the two and they're the same. And so we have seven of them. And during the, after the fifth one, okay, so that's at the end almost, the people are still not waking up and are repenting. It says 10, verse 10, the fifth angel poured out the bowl on the throne of the beast and its kingdom was plunged into darkness. And I believe that is the three-day um, three darkness, okay? People nod their tongues in agony and curse the God of heaven because their pains and their sores, but they refuse to repent what they had done. No, they're blaming God. They're not repenting. They're not saying, God, we followed Satan. Oh, God, uh, we denied you. Oh, God, you know what? We wanted to be whatever, like God. Okay? No, they didn't do that. Oh, no, it's worse. They're cursing God. Now, they have sores. I don't know why they got the sores. If you compare it with the fifth... Um, the fifth trumpet, and I don't know where it is, uh, it's chapter, could be chapter 9, or yeah, chapter 9 maybe. Um, it may have been caused by these scorpions out of the abyss. There was this uh, star falling into the, on the earth and it opened the abyss and there came out these lo lotuses or scorpions. And they were stinging people and they got these pains. Okay? Because you have to come, you can compare them. The fifth angel in with the bowl is the same as well. It's it's the same event as the fifth uh, trumpet. Okay? You can compare them. It's just one gives you more information than the other. That's what happened. They couldn't die. And the pain was so bad. But still, they didn't repent. They continued. They continued. This is how blinded these people are. Oh no, we're not waking up. We're not repenting. God would have forgave them. No, no. But then again, do we read that in Second Thessalonians 2. They are blind. They don't want to see the truth. And God sent them an even stronger delusion. No. God's wrath is coming. And I really believe this movie was used to show it in your face. Show it in your face. Now, you can deny it. Okay? You can continue to deny it. Which probably most people will do. But you can also acknowledge it and say, hmm, maybe uh, Edith is right. Okay? See, so many people still are in a delusion thinking, oh, the Antichrist has to come first. Oh, the, the, the tribulation has to come first. Oh, this has to... No, people, we are there. And Satan is actually showing you right now. He is showing you in your face this is what's coming. Oh, no, we don't have time for Trump to come. No, I really believe people. I mean, I'm hoping it. I don't know for sure that the rapture will happen this fall. Let's hope it, okay? Because we're living in very dark times. We're living in very dark times. And the signs are there. Oh my goodness, the signs are there. The signs are there that the wrath of God is coming. I really believe this movie is you is being used to, talk, to tell you in your face the wrath of God is coming. In your face. Yeah, using satire. But I think Satan has to show his plans. Or oh, God is going to show you his plans. He can't just uh, 
deny everything or cover up everything. It's tried very hard, you know, to cover everything up so far. And we are right almost before the, the ref starting. You know, he has hidden this idea that the wrath of God is coming through saying, oh, it's, it's, it's a tribulation. Do you know any time where uh, dispensationalism is talking about the wrath of God? No, they're not talking about the wrath of God. Why? Because they're hiding it. Satan has hi did hide it. Oh no, God, the wrath of God is not coming. Wake up, people. Wake up. Okay? And don't be surprised when you're left behind going through the wrath of God because you did not uh, um, follow Jesus. Okay? Because you denied, oh, the wrath, I mean, the, the rapture is not happening. Oh, no, God, uh, Jesus will allow his bride to go through the wrath of God. Really? You really think the bridegroom will do that? Again, do you think he will bomb this world to smithereens with the bride in it? No, I don't think so. We are not destined for wrath. That's what Paul says in First uh, Thessalonians 5. We are not destined for the wrath. We're destined for salvation and being with our bridegroom in the, the, the rooms he prepares. People, I'm coming to an end. Watch this movie, okay? Watch this movie. I think it was uh, on Netflix. I think it is on Netflix. And this is what's coming. Wake up. Really wake up. It's in your face. No more denying that the wrath of God is coming. No more denying. Oh, it's just a film. Oh, it's just a movie. Just a movie. Oh, no, no. I think Satan is trying to show you something. Elite is trying to show you something. No, and it's not this climate, whatever. I'm not even going to use the, 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 the name. No, it's the wrath of God. All right. Let me know what you think. Share my video. Give me a thumbs up. Okay? Give me a thumbs up. It's important. I want this movie, movie, uh, movie. I want this video on the top. Of the feet. YouTube feed. And also I want to thank my Beat Shoot subscribers. I am so thankful for you guys. Okay? Very thankful. And I know it's not anybody's fault. I think it's just YouTube shadow banning me. Because, of course, the truth cannot go out there. And then yet, sometimes, Satan is giving us a little glimpse of what's coming. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Anyways, hey, let the Holy Spirit guide you always.